what is going on guys it is storm and i'm bringing you some more call of duty ghosts in this episode i talk about camping and ieds and the smallest map in the freaking game and these guys are camping in the courtyard with ieds and let's look at that there was like four of them right there and it's like it's strike zone you're supposed to run out and gun and everything and do all this crazy stuff and it's like they just decide they camp there. Yeah, they might be spawning there and everything, but they're literally just sitting there. And the amount of IEDs that are thrown in this game are mind-boggling. I probably died from an IED like maybe five or six times, I think. And it's just utter BS. And I'm using the Ripper because uh, what I'm doing with pubs is for every single weapon, uh, every category and stuff. So marksman rifles, shotguns, SMGs. Etc. Etc. I'm trying to get 500 kills with uh, every single weapon. It unlocks the net camo. I'm not so much doing it for the camo, but just uh, something for me to do in pubs because I kind of like doing challenges and doing that kind of stuff. Uh, also ranking up and everything that helps too. But I like doing challenges because it gives me just a little bit more uh, kind of like a competitiveness. Like, oh man, I got to get a lot of kills so I can get this challenge done. But just kind of that edge to it instead of just kind of more kickback relax just playing to kill everyone or win or anything so i just like doing that kind of stuff it's kind of a challenge to me too like using these weapons like the ripper is just only okay and it's very weak and the bullets run out very fast but i'm just using it because i want to get 500 kills with it i think it's this uh the k7 and then the CBJ, I believe, that I have to get 500 kills with, and I'm done with SMGs for 500 plus kills with. And that's just kind of my goal. Uh, same thing with assault rifles, all that stuff. But, um, yeah, and the Ripper is just, I don't know, it, it's okay. Very good close range, obviously, but, and then when I change it to use it as an assault rifle, that works too. It kind of helps out. But that's what I've been doing with pubs, is just trying to, uh, just have like a goal in mind and all that i do want to get to uh i think it's the next prestige i think eighth prestige it's a uh, like a little red emblem and if i feel like going to ninth and i will it's a nice red emblem but i don't want to go to 10th because that emblem insignia is really stupid in my opinion so i'm just going to stick it to either eight or nine and that's usually what i do i just set a goal in pubs and then i kind of stick with it because i am trying to play ghosts more because the more i play it the more comfortable i am with it etc etc but going back to strike zone and how it's a small map and like coming up right here there's an id it just blows up right there i didn't die by it but i think right here is a stretch where i just die constantly i think i like was eight and nine or something and then i go like eight and 15 and it's just like come on it's like ieds i mean there's no there's no strategy to them it's like like that there was two of them stacked right there it's like why it's, C, it's C4 and forget. That's pretty much what it is. You throw it, and then you just leave it. I mean, most people, like, throw it, and then they just like, sit right in front of it. I think my teammate was doing that in this game. It, right there. That one just blew up. I didn't die by it, but it blew up. I mean, they're freaking everywhere. It's like these little meteors are just coming out of freaking nowhere. But it's just like, uh, right there. It's ridiculous. This whole team's, like, using freaking IEDs. It's mind-boggling, like, how people can do that. And then they use Danger Close, and it's just like, they're... They're so explosive enough that you don't need danger close. I mean, if you want to take out a whole freaking army at once, yeah, maybe, but it's ridiculous. But, yes, yeah, so I've just been playing pubs and stuff, uh, figuring out some other details of just other things, but Strike Zone is just like, I think of small maps, like, in every other game and stuff, like Shipment for COD 4 and all that. You're, well, I mean, that map was super, super small. And, like, you're just running around doing things. And, like, Dome in World at War, you're running around stuff. You don't necessarily camp and everything. But And this is the smallest map in Call of Duty Ghosts. And everyone's camping. Using IEDs. Trying to get the easy, cheap kills and stuff. So, that's just kind of my rant. It's just, like, what's the point in that? Where's the fun in that? I don't see the fun in it whatsoever. I like to run and gun. I get a triple right here, which actually kind of boosts my morale a little bit. But that's about it. The video's ending. Follow me on Twitter, at Comastorm, C-O-M-A Storm. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. It's kind of just like a little rant. Just kind of a 
random video, I guess you could say. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Every subscription counts, and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. And that's it for me. So keep it real, fellas.